Hi, I'm Zach Haddock with Preco's Die Cut Division here in Lenexa, Kansas. Today on Tech Tips, we're going to be talking about male-female tooling. Most people are surprised to find out that their existing Preco die cutter can accept male-female tooling with little to no modification at all. It's a fairly simple process and we're going to show you exactly how to set it up and cut with male-female tooling. So the first step in the process is to raise the ram all the way to its highest up-limit position. And this is going to be applicable no matter if you have an XY Theta registered system or non-registered system with cutting plates. Now that we have the ram in the utmost position and room to work, the next step will be to remove the interlock and place the stop block into position. Now that we have our safety block installed, the next step is to remove the quick change tooling clamps. And they're located here and here. There'll be two on each side. Remove both sides. So now that we have the quick change tooling clamps removed, the next step will be to remove the stop block, reinstall the interlock plug, and lower the ram until the die set is no longer setting on the die lifts. At this point, we'll remove the die lifts and we'll be ready to move the sub die set. The next step now that we have the ram lowered and there's no longer pressure resting on the die lift blocks is to remove these die lift blocks at which point we'll then raise the ram back up to clear everything away from the sub die set and we'll be ready to remove that die set. So now that we have the die lifts removed from both sides of the sub die set it's completely free from the upper ram plate. Now what we want to do is close all the guarding, raise the ram to its highest position and we'll be ready to remove the sub die set. Now that the sub die set is free from the upper ram position, the only thing left holding it in the press are these four bolts located at each corner. We'll remove these bolts and we'll be ready to slide the sub die set out onto our die cart and we'll be ready at that point to install the male female tube. Now that we have all the bolts removed from the sub die set, it's ready to be taken out. But before we put our hands inside the press, we want to make sure we reinstall the safety block and remove the interlock. Now that you have your sub die set out or your cutting plates, now is an excellent time to check the inside of the press for any galvanic corrosion or any wear to your ground surfaces. You want to look and make sure everything's clean before we slide in the male-female tooling. The process for putting the male-female tooling package back in is exactly the same, just in reverse. Now that the male-female tool is slid and installed into the press, the last thing to do is to bolt it into place. I have two bolts in the front, two in the rear. Depending on the design of the male-female tool, you may or may not need the die lifts. You will not need the die clamps. You can leave those just inside the guarding of the press. They won't hurt anything as long as they're out of the way. So we've adjusted the mic stop to stop the ram just above the top of the die set. At this point, it's going to be just like setting up any other die. We're going to come down 10 thou at a time until we achieve the proper cut. So that's all there is to it. There really isn't a whole lot to setting up a male-female tool in your Preco press. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call or see us on our website at PrecoInc.com. Also, keep checking back for more tech tip videos.